this is a topic that a lot of people are buzzing about lately. What is an NFT and is this thing a fad? And it's interesting, a lot of people are split on whether or not it's a fad, so I'll get to that. But first, what is an NFT? Pared down, it's a digital certificate of authenticity and it's sold on some sort of exchange, like OpenSea is a common exchange for these things. And typically it's paired with some sort of physical asset or digital asset. So in the most common form, NFTs are paired with these digital pixelated artwork. So there's a gorilla series that, the ape series that's really expensive. <laughs> and the fedora one has gone for millions of dollars. But basically, it's a way to keep track of the provenance of an item over its lifetime, the asset's lifetime. So if I wanted to take something to, you know, I'm, I liked the, the show Pawn Stars that's based out of Vegas. And if they were to take this baseball that was hit out of the park at the World Series and it had some sort of certificate of authenticity um, from the original owner, that's the sort of thing that this provides, but rather than having this certificate that someone could counterfeit or you can question even the certificate is whether or not it's real, can't do that with an NFT. It is what it is. It's on a blockchain. There's no way to change it, to refute it. It is agreed upon by all the nodes in the system. So that's what's so exciting about it. So I can see a use case. For example, maybe you get season tickets at a sporting event and they issue you an NFT, this token that says, hey, this is a season ticket holder. So then if you were to try to sell some of these tickets to some other people, there's no way there can be a scalper who's selling counterfeit tickets because you can verify with the blockchain that these things are legit. Very interesting. But whether or not it's a fad, I don't think that the underlying technology is a fad, but the art component eh, might be a fad. <laughs> That's my two cents. I can dig into that more in the comments, but thanks for following along. Let me know what you think.